It's road trip time. The kids and I are taking a kind of spontaneous trip south. We're gonna try to hit up Bodrum, maybe get down to Kosh. Basically like surveying the area, see if there's anything we'd wanna go back and do or show to any friends who might want to visit. Hmm? All right, so here we go. One. Why? Two. Oh, why? Three. Oh. Drum when we were driving through it looked so crowded and crazy and I couldn't find parking we decided to just keep on driving and we hit uh, the very end of the peninsula that Bodrum is on and we're in this tiny little seaside village called I'm not sure. Okay. It's spelled, oh I don't even see how it's spelled anywhere near me. Anyway it's a tiny little seaside village at the end of the, at the, end of the peninsula. Let's see if I can flip this around and show you where we are. This is our view from our table at the moment. Grumpy. Boys act mature. Yes. Behind them is the island. Can't see too well. There's an island that you can walk to. No. Ah, uh, where are we going? 
you get donuts after breakfast. Then nice. we're going to the museum. Museum of where? We're going to the Museum of Underwater Archaeology. Ooh, Jack, what you have to say about this? There is archaeologists under the water. V very, <laughs> very insightful. <laughs> yes. Watch out, watch out. And we're going from our hotel. That was the best hotel. Uh, it was very non-air conditioned. There was no like airflow at all. There was a pool, and they had the best breakfast ever. There were like French fries and cucumbers and tomatoes and, and also eggs. hard boiled eggs yes eggs. oh yeah and then the slimy cheese and the meat but we each had a bed we did each have a bed this is the dog ignoring my children man where are we going to get donuts egg what is the most exciting thing you've done on this trip so far? Definitely the beach. Almost got hit by the car. That was good. Look at us having picked by the ocean. <laughs> So, my opinion of Bodrum is this. It's super touristy, super crowded, but you can't beat the view in the morning. And there's donuts. I would say, and we drove down to that village yesterday, which was fun, but I don't know that I would do it again. So it was about a 35 minute drive down to the end of the peninsula and we couldn't do that walk out to the island. And that's really what I wanted to do there. So I think if you wanted to spend your whole vacation just here on this, like the Bodrum Peninsula, there's a lot of things you could do. I was researching and there's some really nice restaurants. There is a hike you could take up um, the hill behind that village that we went to. For the most part, I would say a little bit overpriced and so crowded and touristy. Still, this is our view for breakfast. Not very vacation-y. Can't beat that view. No, you can't. Just came in from the um, donut shop. So we are heading into a uh, big castle built then. This is the original Santa Claus. St. Nicholas actually lived here in this area. Really? That's probably for children who might actually try to do something. Boom! That were by the people. There is that one on the very, uh, the very right is for the castle commander. The one in the middle is for the order, whatever that is, and the first one is for Jacques de Mille, Grand Master person. Cool. When was it? Uh, 12:35. Well, those were particularly made in 12:35. 1854. <laughs> We're not allowed to go down to the moat. That's for the bathroom. <laughs> oh. I think that's the official museum shop. Oh, yeah. We'll find a bathroom. I thought this was the bathroom. Yeah. Well, it's the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, a white peacock. Peacock home. Come on. Let's go. Don't do that. Of course my children would stomp on the glass. Well, that's kind of creepy.
What do you find the most interesting in here? Why do you like that? Because it's cool. Just to see how big it was. Yeah. That they just, it was underwater for so long. Seventh century. Hey, what's down there, Bren? Where are we going? We're going to see what happens. Yes. I don't think it's a city. It's a lot of dead Where are all the dead bodies? Yeah, I don't see any. I don't think that's what this one is. Jackie lied to me. It's a necro. No, you're right. Early Bronze Age cemetery. My kids are very disappointed that this room wasn't full of dead bodies. There's no dead people. Is that a goldie? I was disappointed. <laughs> So if you saw the tomb up in the chapel, that had actual bones. I don't see bones anywhere near here. Yeah. 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 Moat around the castle. I'd be scared of the peacock too. Hey, I'm gonna scare that little kitty cat away. Don't take her down. Hello, little kitty cat. What was the coolest cat. thing about this? A castle? cat let me pick it up. Priorities. Yes. This is how you go. Yep, this way out. This way out, Meg.